continue collecting. And remember, stay casual. Welcome back, casual collectors. I'm Steel Wolf. And Spider Kid. And today we're bringing you a review of the Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Bishop. So we picked him up at Walmart for the price of $17.48. Do be mind that he was on clearance when you did find him. So online, he's currently available on Big Bad and GameStop. But he is sold out on Amazon, Walmart, and Target. And for block details, we could see Bishop right there. It was all the, all the accessories and X-Men 97. And for the back, we could see the rest of the figures. Okay, with that said, let's get them opened up. And here is Bishop out of the package, and yeah, man, he looks great. It's definitely an updated look from the one we had before, but I gotta say, it does look good. Alright, so let's get a closer look at some of the accessories that come with Bishop. Okay, so here we have everything that comes with Bishop. Now, we did remove the two hands that already came attached to him, but just to kind of give you a presentation of everything that comes with him. So, first things first, let's go ahead and start with the actual main thing here, which is his gun. And right away, I think it's sculpted very nicely. I mean, just take a look at that. It's got a lot of nice detail, especially when digging this thing right here. It looks like it's kind of like a shotgun where he can cock it right there, so that looks pretty cool. You can see a lot more intricate sculpt there on the gun itself, so it looks really good. Same thing for the other side, as you can see there. It's done in this kind of gray color, but it still looks good, if you ask me. It's definitely different from the last one that we got with Bishop. Next thing, let's take a look at some of the hands that come with Bishop. And we get only one actual fisted hand, which again, as I said many times, these should be standard issue. It just sucks that we only get one. But it still looks pretty nice. It's done in the black. So next we have his trigger holding hands, as you can see here. They look really good. You can use either left or the right, so that's pretty neat. And the next thing here, we have this kind of like an open grabbing hand kind of thing, you know? Which is not bad, because I guess if you have effects, you can kind of use this with the effects. It's just too bad they didn't give us any effects for this Bishop, which would have been really nice. But that's going to do it for all the accessories that come with Bishop. All right, before we get into further details on Bishop, I just wanted to show you guys what these extra hands look like on him. So there is his fisted hand there, and we also have him with a gun holding hand there, or a trigger finger hand, as well as the gun actually in the holster, which looks really nice. And last but not least, we removed the left fisted hand and replaced it with the left trigger hand, and we also put the gun in place, and as you can see, it definitely looks really good. He even has his finger in the trigger, which is really nice. And for the right hand, he has that open C grip or open hand on that side too. So that looks pretty good too. All right, let's take a closer look at some of the details here on Bishop. So right away, let's go ahead and start with his face. And I gotta say, pretty nice looking face sculpt. He looks really cool. Definitely digging that M right here on the side of his face. That looks really cool. Definitely came out looking really nice. Nice and clean paint apps there. The eyes look good, eyebrows look good, that uh, beard combo there looks pretty nice. As for the hair sculpt, definitely looks good too. I mean, look at all these intricate sculpt up here. Very nice. I think it looks really good. It's definitely different from the old bishop that we have. It definitely looks good. Moving down to the chest area here, we got this nice cool looking scarf thing here. And this came out sculpted really nice. It's made out of a softer plastic, so very nice looking. Unfortunately, you can't take it off because it is glued in back here but it still looks pretty good. Moving over to the shoulders, we got this nice vibrant yellow here along with the contrast of this blue. And we got some wrinkles there on the shoulder. It's definitely got not really a glossy finish. It's more of a flat matte color on this blue here and the yellow as well as the red, but it still looks good. Gives it that kind of cartoonish vibe or comic book vibe. So I think it looks very good. Let's go ahead and lift this up here and we can see that it looks good down here too. It's got nice sculpt down there. A lot of musculature there in the abs too. Very nice. Nice clean paint applications on this black line here. That looks good. Moving down to the waist area, we see his belt. There's not much going on with that belt, but this X logo came out looking really cool. You can see that this yellow line with the black line runs all the way down to at least the boot area there, and that still looks clean. Nothing much on the legs here or on the actual knees. But we got some boots down here and they come out looking okay. Let's turn this guy around here. There's the bishop butt. You can see that that yellow line comes back towards the back of the figure, but it doesn't have that black line as you can see from the front. So I don't know if that was a mistake or if that's the way it's supposed to be, but let's keep going. Here are the back of the boots, not too shabby. Here are the bottom of the boots, we got pegles down there. 
here on the side of the legs. We look like they got these big old pockets or pads or something. Here is the back of the figure. And we can see there's some more musculature on the back here, which looks really nice. And then we can see that he has his holster right here for his pistol, which looks good. As for the arms, we can see that he is wearing short sleeves and we can see more of that musculature. And here are the gloves, which you already took a closer look at these guys. These guys came out looking nice. Then he has these little wrist things for the gloves too, and these can come off. So if you don't like the look of this, just pop off the hand here and those will come off. But yeah, looks really good. But that's going to do it for all the details on Bishop. All right, and so for some articulation with Bishop, let's start with his head. He can look left, he can look right, and he can do a complete 360. And he will look up about that much, which is, which is not too bad. And he will look down about that much. And again, not too shabby. Let's see, does he have some head tilt? Yes, he does. He can tilt left, he can tilt right. Not too shabby. And let's see, does there a power driver motion? No, I don't think there is now. And moving on here, we can go down to the shoulder area. His arms can do a complete 360, as you can see here, which are a tad bit hindered by this shoulder piece here. But luckily, it's soft plastic, as you saw, so it just kind of bent out of the way. But it did get in the way just a tad bit. And let's see, his shoulders will go up. Shoulders will go up to about that much, so just about your standard T-pose there. And let's see, does he have butterfly joints? Looks like he does not have butterfly joints. Moving further down to the arm, he does have a bicep swivel, as you can see there. And he does have double jointed elbows, as you can see, that will go into about that much. So not too shabby. I mean, look at that. That's not bad at all. And he does have wrist articulation as well, which they can turn completely around right here, just like this. And he has a vertical hinge on his hand, which you can hinge it up or you can hinge it down, as you can see there, which is standard for your gun holding hand. So pretty neat. And also for the other side, he has this kind of open hand here, this grabbing hand. And this one as well, you can hinge it upwards, just like this, like he's holding something in his hand, or you can hinge it the other way. So pretty neat. Moving further down here, we're gonna move down to his ab area here. You can ab crunch forward about that much, which isn't too much, but he can go forward. And he can go back about that much. He can also swivel out the waist area here, as you can see, but there is no actual tilt. So he's not on a ball peg there on the waist. So moving down to the hip area here, his legs do not have that drop down, but he can do the splits about that much and he will kick forward about that much, which is really good. And he will kick back about that much. Now he does have also double jointed knees that will bend in or will fold in that much there, which is not too bad at all. Moving further down here, he has a boot swivel as you can see here, and he does have ankle pivot and his feet will kick up about that much and they will kick down about that much. And that's gonna do it for all the articulation on Bishop. All right, and to measure out Bishop here, he comes in just a little bit underneath the seven inch mark. Okay, and so for some size comparison, we have Bishop here next to Faker there on the left. And then we have on the right, we have him next to the Victor Royale Meowsels, as well as the G.I. Joe Classified Croc Master. And for some more size comparisons, here we have Bishop next to the Jada Toys Ryu there on the left. And on the right, we have him next to the Best Action Raphael Ninja Turtles, as well as Jazzwares Fishstick from Fortnite. For another comparison with other toy lines, here we have Bishop next to the Manga Spawn from McFarland, as well as the DC Multiverse Death Metal Wonder Woman. And on the far right there, we also have the SH Figure Arts Trunks. And for another comparison, here we have side by side, the X-Men 97 Bishop next to the Sauron Build-A-Figure Wave Bishop. And I gotta say, there are some differences, not just in color tones, skin tones, but also accessory wise. And I mean, if you guys have the old Bishop, you guys know he came with that futuristic shotgun. And they both have that same type of style of holster on the back, but I think it looks better on the old Bishop. I think that the shoulder harnesses or whatever those things are that are around their shoulders looks way better on the old Bishop. It looks more tactical with all the pouches and stuff, as well as the belts. I think the belt looks way better on the old Bishop just because it looks more tactical. There's more pouches. There's more going on with that belt from the old bishop now if we can just swap those parts i think it would look way better and i gotta say i like them both i just think they're just different styles i mean i like that look of bishop with the long hair and then with the glowing eye i mean that looks cool but i'm also digging the x-men 97 look so i do like them both and i know there's been pictures around of people like kind of kit bashing them this old bishop with this new bishop and they've done some really good stuff with it but, I mean, you can see right here for yourself the big differences. And for another comparison with other Marvel Legend figures, here we have Bishop next to Modok. 
as well as Deadpool that came with the motorcycle and dog pole and squirrel pole. All right, and finally, here we have Bishop next to some other X-Men characters we had on hand. We have there to the far left, we have Darwin from the Bone Breaker Wave. We have the Professor Xavier from those vehicle packs. And then we have Colossus in the back there from the Juggernaut and Colossus 2 pack. And in the back there, we have Beast from the Caliban Wave, as well as the X-Men 97 Wolverine. And I gotta say, they all look great together. I think we have a couple more X-Men somewhere, but we didn't have them on hand. So kind of want to give you guys a little presentation with these other X-Men figures. And they do look great together. All right, final thoughts. So is he a cool figure? Absolutely very cool. Uh, visually, he looks really cool. Definitely an updated version of the old, compared to the old Bishop. We get a new gun. We get a new kind of style for him, a new haircut for him, uh, different paint applications. I want to say just about the same articulation on him, though. Nothing really new on that articulation for this one. But definitely the look is updated, and it definitely reflects the show of X-Men 97, hence the name X-Men 97. But, you know, as for price point, uh, you know what, 25 bucks is pretty standard nowadays for Marvel Legends, so not too shabby. We got him for about 17 as you saw earlier, and that was only because he was on clearance. Why? I have no idea. Everything was intact. It wasn't open, so I don't know why Walmart had him for 17 bucks. My only gripe with this guy is going to be the amount of accessories. I mean, they literally gave us the bare minimum. You know, just another set of hands and a, a gun. I mean, where the heck are his effects? Why don't we get effects for him? You know, with him charging up his beams or something, you know, we could have got some kind of purple effect, even if it was recycled from like Psylocke or something, but we could have gotten something like that for this Bishop. I think for the price we got him, he's actually a really good figure. He has really good articulation. He's all pinless. He's not stiff in any parts. I do kind of wish that the gun was a bit more painted and he wasn't so like bland in color. He looks too kind of matted and too washed out. And as I, as I see in the show, it's more brighter colors, like more brighter red, more darker blue, stuff like that. Besides that, though, I mean, it's a pretty good figure. One thing I wish that we could get was a screaming head or some other different type of hand. All right, it's that time again, folks, for that rating. And as always, it's there on the left. And I'm going to go ahead and have to give this guy a rating of... Mm. All right. My rating is going to be... Great. And that's going to do it for our review on the Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Bishop. I'm Steel Wolf. And Spider Kid. Continue collecting. And remember, stay casual. <laughs>